Okay, hello. Hello and good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? My scroll wheel. There we go. Good morning. How the heck is everybody doing? Sage, hello. Brian Lugo, good morning to you. How the heck are y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a good Monday morning. I hope everybody is uh, riding high their wonderful weekend. Freaking Touch Portal had an update like as soon as as soon as I went to hit it. So I was like, OK, hang on, let me let me update it. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing well this morning. Aaron and I are beat after after our weekend. We went to see some friends of ours that live in um, the, the next state, which is a, still a still a very funny thing. It's not a thing I'm getting used to. Um, with like having moved from Florida, because having moved from Florida, if you drive, you know, where where we lived in Florida, you drove four hours and you were still in Florida. <laughs> um, so being able to drive like an hour and a half and be in a completely different state um, is is still wild. Um, but uh, so. Counting down for Friday for your trip. Oh, nice. Where what are you what are you getting up to, Lugo? You taking a nice, just a nice getaway vacation? Are you going to Are you going to Mexico for how lucha? Go to Japan? Oh yeah, right. I remember. I remember you talking about this a, a while, while ago. Yeah, that's finally happening. Good for you. That's exciting. That's exciting. I hope you have a. I hope you have a good time. I hope you have a good time. I know you've been waiting on this for for a little bit. I know you've been waiting on 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 this trip and playing in this for a little bit. So I hope you have a wonderful time. Oh, man, I only have one day for the for the uh, Witcher Fortnite stuff. Oh, no. I'm a, oh, no. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Lugo, I hope you have a good time. But yeah, so we're so we went and did uh, that uh, we you know, we did that drive. The drive was pretty good. There was a bit with construction near the end that was really uh, annoying. Um, but we went to see our friends. We went to a cool local coffee shop. Um, we just spent time with them. I didn't put a picture of it in the Discord. Um, we ordered some tacos for lunch. And, you know, people were ordering tacos. And I was like, all right, let me see what these tacos are. I ordered <laughs> Cajun shrimp and grits tacos. Um, which were incredible. <laughs> they were so good. And then there was randomly, um, I guess not randomly, but surprisingly bacon on them. So there was, so the, so right. So it's two tortillas and then there was grits in the bottom and then the shrimp was on top and then there was bacon. And I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it was so good. Gonna hand out all the elegant Vivalons. Oh, I'm, I should make sure to I'll make sure to open your gift. I'll make sure to open your gift. At the very least, collect the postcards. At the very least, collect the postcards, because, yeah, that's man. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm responding to a message from Brian. Um, but yeah, and then so Sunday, Sunday we were just running around trying to get um trying to get our chores done, trying to get stuff ready. We weren't we didn't get everything done that we should have done considering we were gone all of Saturday. So that's on us. That's on us. 13 hours in the air for the last flight. Oh, man. Well, well, Luca, let me tell you, uh, you go go check out check out some YouTube. Just <laughs> the weirdest plug. Um, I mean, yeah, now is the now is the time to like download some movies or something on on your phone or, or some sort of tablet. Get an audio book get a podcast like nap 
I'd probably take a nap. I would probably I would probably get like a good a couple podcasts. I'd get like a movie or a show. And I would I would alternate between. Like, I'd probably watch a little podcast nap. And then wake up for when like the food comes because there's always food. So you wake up, have your food, watch like a show while you're eating and then go back to sleep. <laughs> Do you have all the Kung Fu Panda movies? Three Head of Training Dragon. There you go. There you go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. The first time I went to Gen Con, the first time I went to Gen Con, I had um, Wrestle Kingdom, the big, uh, I guess not pay-per-view, but like the big year-end um uh or guess or, or start of the year for new japan like wrestling event um and it's like five hours so i watched that over both sides of the trip um because i was traveling with a friend of mine and for the trip there it was so early both of us were just like uh we don't want to talk but then the trip back like we were talking about everything that was going on and we were chatting with people on the plane and but yeah that that sounds great that's a the what four movies or no how many there's like there's like two or three kung fu panda movies so you're you'll be you'll be set you will be set i believe all right i spare Bobby Zach, hello Boy. Hey, did you inf install the Firebot beta I sent you? Uh, the one you sent me a while ago, or did you send me a new one? You didn't send me a new one, so yes, I did install the one you sent me the other day. Also, hi, Zach. Good morning. How you doing, buddy? Okay, cool. Also, hi. <laughs> Is this where is this where Zach uses the the secret code that he embedded in every Firebot install to take over my channel? Have you had any problems since you installed it? Uh no. Uh no, I haven't. Everything everything's been working great. Uh commands are going off. Um no, everything, every everything I have expected it to do, it has done. So everything I have expected it to do, it has done. Good. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely would have, uh, would have messaged you to be like, Zach, listen. Why is this? Why is this broken? You're ruining my stream. No, I wouldn't have said that. That would be rude. Just secret. Yeah, yeah. Zach, <laughs> Zach installed a crypto miner. Zach installed a crypto miner. That's how he does it. Zach, I hope you had a good weekend, buddy. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you're doing well. Am I, Zach, am I misremembering? Am I misremembering? Did Bean start a new job? I feel like I remember she started like, like, uh, like uh like a job like she's working for the county a couple months ago okay that just popped in my head how's that is that going well like she's working for the county instead of an individual thing i don't know how much you've shared about what she does so i don't want to i don't want to blow up the spot But yeah, that just that just popped in my head that that happened. My brain was like, hey, remember this happened? 
as it often does. <laughs> as it often likes to do. <laughs> yeah, I hope that all is going well. She got a city job. She's liking it a lot. Good. I'm glad she's liking it. I'm glad she's liking it. I remember I remember there was a bit of understandably uh, trepidation around taking it because, you know, it's a new job. Everybody has that feeling. But. I'm glad she's enjoying it. That's good. Ah, <laughs> uh, neat. Well, that's one of them. I wonder if the I wonder if the other one is going to I wonder if the other one is going to turn out to be a spam bot. Get your transfer mods ready for tomorrow? Oh, I should. Yeah. I should make sure to do that. I have so I still have so many Pokemon. I still have so many Pokemon uh, to go through from. Um, Hoenn tour. Um, I cleared out all of the uh, Pikachu's so that I would have space to do the catch mastery thing yesterday. Um, cool. Twitch already banned that bot. Thanks, Twitch. Shout outs. Um, and uh, so that was like 80 space. I just really quickly was like, <laughs> uh, but I still have a bunch of stuff. Like I have like Ma Wiles that I need to trade with Aaron. I have. Um, some some something else that I want to trade with Aaron. Um, so. Love when I get the weave action on your report email almost instantly. Yeah, it's really funny to be like, OK, that's obviously a bot. I'm going to report the bot for bot shit. And then I and then I see my phone light up to the email like we received your report. And then my phone goes back to sleep and then it goes, we've actioned on your report like. There you go. <laughs> That's why you got to make sure to report those bots. You have to make sure to report them. You can't just say, oh, they're banned. Got them. You got to report them. You got to report them because that gets them out. All right. On the note of getting rid of bots. You know who else gets rid of bots? Lady Poppy Shepard. She is single handedly trying to clear the galaxy. Of the Geth menace. There we go. Look at that. It worked first. First time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Robo Jesus. And Violet, you catch all the bots and balls. That's true. All right, so we are here. We're on Novaria, if you, if if y'all don't recall. Uh, we're on this like science planet, um, and uh, terrible terrible things have happened. Uh, because basically, what happened? Well, I don't want to get to it, but uh, these mi these mysterious aliens. I'll recount it in the terms the game gives you. These mysterious alien aliens have been popping up. Uh, out of one of the secret labs on this facility. And nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows what's happening. Got to get to it early. Oh, uh, Zach, I hope you have I hope you have a good day. I hope it's easy for you, buddy. I love you bunches. 780 and 768 moms. Goodness gracious. I welcome you. Cautiously. Curious to know what you're doing here. It seems I've been caught up in events. Events. 
Everyone here could say the same. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Given the situation, you should freely contribute to the defense. Pointedly, I give freely to Captain Ventralis. You, delicately, are not paid to protect us. That's a good, that's a good counter. I'll give him that. Most of my stock is being That's a good point. I'll give him that one. Captain Ventralis. You win that one. Um... Neither of these Omni tools are better than what I'm looking at. Um, someone might want this heavy armor. It's not me. Um, I remember there's like a couple little side quests you can get into. Um, so let's just start poking around and talking to people. seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Oh, well. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Do you know President Huerta of Earth? I did not think so. Well, but... Benezia passed through here. You didn't see her? I saw her. You asked if I knew her. I do not. Okay, that's not... Okay. You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. Recently tra- hmm. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. So you're trying to get... Hmm. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. No. Nah, mm. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? What what actual things do we have here? So we need to go to the hot labs. Okay. In the high security areas. So this is this is a different area that's not the hot. Okay. Okay, this is like bunks. Oh, boo, come on. Uh oh, we're we're starting we're starting to get close to we gotta sell to that guy. We should we should sell to that guy. Kessler five. Let's we'll we'll go over everybody's equipment really quick. I like this. Um Ali, you get you also get the katana. Um. Oh yeah, it's nice. Stiletto five is just a sh just a flat upgrade. Love that. Um. Nobody has any armor. Okay. So how much omni jewel? Uh, omni jewel. Which, oh, I have like 180 Omni Gel. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna sell a bunch of stuff to this guy. Relieved. Let's have a look. Regretfully. Okay. Uh, I don't want to sell mod. Well, I'll sell duplicate mods. Um, but I'm really interested in selling off. Yeah. Uh, I only need three of these at most. And I think I have the level five versions of these also, so. Oh, these makes these are so much money.
Okay, yeah, we know these are... Okay, so I have... I'm just literally gonna sell uh, all of this. Nice. Okay, so I have exoskeleton... I have three exoskeleton fives. So I don't need these. This is maybe the worst part of this game. Is this is a... This is just this menuing is not... Not the best. I have so much money. I have so much money and nothing to spend it on. Okay, so this is to quarantine and the barracks. This is to the medical bay. Let's go, let's let's see what's going on in the medical bay. Why are people sick? Have a cure by now. What, what, what do you want? I've had a long day. Don't piss me off. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I haven't had much sleep lately. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. It was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. <laughs> Your call. Suit yourself. I'm just trying to avoid an incident. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis's guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Talk to you later. Hmm? Yes. Okay. These people are sick. Online and ready Nap and shifts. I think it hasn't been long enough. Like it's been a while, but they they don't they don't have enough people to do think that. You could run that equipment for us. Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. Yes. Talk you know what I mean? Know. Like I I think I think it it's there's only like two people. If you have two people, you have enough to, you have enough people to take turns. Uh I mean I I I don't think that is the case. Penny! Penny, good morning! How's the March Effect going so far? Um Penny, you would love this. Lady Poppy Shepherd is telling everybody in the galaxy that they suck ass, that they're pathetic, that they're not doing a good job. Um she's kicking ass and taking names. What? No! She's extorting credits out of every single person. Sorry, I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, uh, she's a little xenophobic, but that's mostly due to the writing. Like, that's not like that's not my decisions. But when you pick the mean option, sometimes the mean options are a little xenophobic. I'm looking for an Asari. So Asari. that gets better later There's on. This one is just a there. little. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? It would be it's a lot of xenophobia and Mass Effect. Off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What do you know yeah. about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't. But how are you there. doing? As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. How are you doing? I hope you're having a, a good Monday morning. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Okay, you're talking. That's a suspicious noise. Oh, uh, wait. I went to the medical lab. I went to the medical lab. I need to go to the quarantine in the back. Can I check in my... Captain Ventralis' office. That's where I need to go. Okay. I'm good. Today's the day. I figure out stuff with the boy I like. Oh, good luck. Good, good luck with all that. Oh, hang on. Before we take this elevator, if I can, elevators have screwed me up before. Elevators have screwed me up before. Yeah, best of luck, Penny. I hope that all goes well. <laughs> I 
I mean, listen, did I ever tell the story about the time I was stuck in an elevator at my job? Did I ever tell that? Have I, have I told that story on stream? Storage locker. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. E. Did I miss Bumbles Girl? Uh, no, we're just getting started. Morning, Jazzy. He's been in my DMs constantly for two weeks at this point. I think it's going well. We're both pretty invested. Is that is that all it takes? I think Brian and I are married. Then. <laughs> Are you trying to be cryptic or are you just nuts? I wish I were crazy. It would be easier. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Don't screw with me. They can't be Rachni. Don't screw with me. They can't be Rachni. All day, every day for the past two weeks has been more than that overall. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, Brian and I are married then. <laughs> the Kroven wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The way nice. <laughs> they brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Listen, I told you, quit loving your socks in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sane. God, am I sane? Tell, yeah, tell me about him. I need to know everything about the Ragni. I told you all I can. We brought the Ragni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. <laughs> in retrospect, a bad decision. <laughs> Could Mitra and Venezia survive in the hot labs? <laughs> it's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. All right. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. In retrospect, a bad decision. Gosh. Hindsight's twenty twenty. We should have brought back the aliens that nearly killed us all. <laughs> You know, they just almost wiped out the whole galaxy, you know, the last time they were around. We thought it would go different. You know, we thought it'd be chill. I know all of media is priming for what a bad idea is, but I'm going to lose my noodle when someone successfully clones a woolly mammoth. Do you know, You're not part of the, crew. The, the thing Plague is, Shepherd. a woolly Look, mammoth doesn't care who you are. is His not is under quarantine. like woolly mammoths are not like an invasive species. They're not like, a go you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Jurassic Park would have been fine if all they did was clone the Triceratops. You know, like, there's the there's the concern of what of introducing like a creature of that size to the general environment. But if it was like, yeah, we made an island and we cloned three Triceratops, you're probably fine, right? The problem with Jurassic Park was that they made they made the tri the fucking like T Rexes and shit too. Like that's the problem. <laughs> they aren't yet. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a footage of just me saying uh, woolly mammoths aren't a galactic threat. Cut to the woolly mammoth galactic empire. Why is there a, why is there a, a, oh, I accidentally put a destination down. Oh, I for one welcome our term overlords. We could do worse. Something you need. Um, okay. You and me both. People are already mad they build houses out in the woods and then like woodland animals show up. Imagine what happens when we release woolly mammoths on the landscape. Well, listen, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's we shouldn't do that. What's the what's what's the goal here? This one. Oh, doctor at risk. Oh, it's another thing. OK, I have to go to the hot labs. 
Let, uh, the labs can be accessed via an emergency elevator between Charles' barricade and the tram station. I think we should release like three for fun. That's... The secure lab. Is that where I need to go? The secure lab? We should paint one, two, and five on their side so everyone's looking for two and for three and four. Keep keep them on their toes. You gotta keep them on their toes. Where? <laughs> Whatever go does swine up calm day. Uh, we had that. I remember that. I remember that community day. Uh, cause Aaron fell and like fucked up her knee for a, for a little bit. Hot labs. Right. This is the tram. Oh, there's secure lab. Oh, this is on the same. Oh, okay, hang on. Okay, yeah, we still can't get in on this side. Okay, so we gotta go to the hot labs. Okay. <laughs> hot labs, that's what they look like. Fucking flaming, flaming hot labs. It's like the regular labs, but all you can eat is Takis. Trout, good morning. Morning time for more mass calder. <laughs> you know, uh, I uh, uh, prototype name for March effect was Mad Effect, uh, but focus testing, focus testing, uh, they were pe people. People responded better to March effect. Are you here to secure the situation? <laughs> if you, yeah. If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. But Trout, how you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I am certain you are having strong feelings, but what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? Wait, is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I, I love these seen. lab coats. She must be at Rift Station. These are great. With the polka dots and shit, they're this great. This is not important. You must be listening. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship. Much better today. Spent all weekend laid up sick. I'm sorry to hear that. This was Ragnar ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're feeling better. They should have destroyed it. Why hatch it? Binary Helix plan to clone Ragnar. Mass produce them. Create an army. A lot of space fashions are great. Alliance military is clean. Yam. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their Fucking... fathers. Fucking... Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. We'll take care of her later. No, listen. The Rachni are intelligent species. They achieve star travel. They are not animals. No, they're more dangerous. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually... I was to tell you the opposite. They're so intelligent, they'll know to get out of my way. <laughs> it is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. The what? I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. I don't have time for this. If the matriarch isn't here, we're leaving. Uh, I do not want so much to be here myself. But the Mira system, she will not let you leave. What are you talking about? We're buds. Safe. You understand? You leave without arranging to eliminate Rachni. Maybe they spread. Journal. 
Uh, someone told you she was in the hot lab, but there was a lie. She must be somewhere in Rift Station. Nuclear Wessels. Uh, I'm gonna save because I remember this part. <laughs> Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. All right. Is there an Asari here? There are no Asari visible to my remaining internal sensors. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too. It's my deep regret to inform you. I am in fact old. <sighs> Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Worthless. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. Yeah, resolve sounds pretty... Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. <laughs> Mumble something. Um, six Semper Terran <clears throat> That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. <laughs> Who would have those codes? Director of Operations Yaroslav Tartakovsky or any executive. Please present yourself for arrest. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Earth's only defense. Hey. You're the guy. You want to do it so bad. I am feeling not so well. Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct. Oh, right. Right, that's the other thing that happens. I don't I didn't remember that part. Oh my god, is it just like eats my shit? All targets down. They're pretty mean. They are they are spicy. Online. How can I help you? All right. Activate the neutron purge. I'm just I'm sorry, burning, doing the neutron do purge. Proper code authorization. Here you go. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Dodgies. Oh, Time to go. Whoop. What? Oh. Oh, man. That was the most video games thing. That was the most video games of things. Connecting. I have full logging you out, Commander. Oh my gosh. That was so video games. Can I? Yeah, toxin resistance, please. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the Gosh, I got stuck on the corner. I so I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna run past mm. and then I just I just stopped as they beat the hell out of me. How does this thing How do these things, how did these things achieve space travel? Can we talk about this? Like, what does that look like? Did they achieve space travel in the same way that the bugs from Starship Troopers achieve space travel? Oh, I didn't. Skitchin. <laughs> they just see us, they just see us spacecraft go by and they're like, ha <laughs> ha. I'm 
wearing an environmental suit, okay. and I'm still freezing. Okay. Gosh. Again, the game still has not made a new autosave, so it's very, very weird. Online, how can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without code input eight. Okay. Uh, just run, just run, just run. Come on. Oh, look at that. I have like one freaking hell. It's also a story reason I won't say I think it's a Mass Effect 3 thing. No, that's fair. Okay. I'm gonna save. Oh my goodness. All right, now I have stasis. Um. Yeah, I know I'm like injured. I'm fine. It's fine. Um. Let's build in a barrier. And then just more. Actually, what does this do? Yeah. Do basic armor. All right. So. I took care of the situation in the hot labs. I remember there's a thing you can get into the quarantine lab, so let's poke around there and see what's going on. There's a there's a there's a thing, if I remember correctly. I don't remember 100% details cuz like I said, it's been forever since I played this, but Uh-oh. Hello? I don't like that these guys are gone. Hello? Hello? Did you guys decide it was break time? I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Benezia. Open fire! Oh, you're just... Oh, fuck you then. Give you the... Give you the Lady Poppy special. bummed that I can't uh, that I can't like knock all those crates over you know oh you're trapped what a bummer My last playthrough was just before Andromeda. I didn't have all the DLCs. It, uh, I'm pretty sure I have all the ME3 DLC. It's been a while since I've looked. Idiots. Gosh, there's so many people to fight when this happens. Go, go. 
Y'all really fucked up fighting fighting Lady Poppy Shepherd, let me tell ya. Y'all picked a bad one. Citadel is my favorite, even though it reads like an apology letter from Bioware. More than a love letter in the wake of how ME3 went. The ME3 ending was the first, was like my first experience with, oh, gamers are bad. <laughs> like game, gamers are silly. Um, you know what I mean? Oh, hang on. change this uh, we'll just omni gel these really quick um i remember i got mass effect 3 with like the maybe i have all the dlc i just don't remember it oh hang on elevators People trying to go to the better, better business bureau for false advertising stuff was ludicrous. Yeah, it's 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 the point, right, where it's like, oh, you didn't enjoy it. That's fine. That's a you know, that's a valid criticism to have. And then people were like, we 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 need to get the we need to start a lawsuit. And I'm like, all right, let's not. Let's let's not. <laughs> you know, like, let's. I was heartbroken for a while for how simple and unremarkable things ended. It was mostly just sad and had whiskey about it. I, I think there is absolutely a conversation to be had about uh, Mass Effect 3's ending, um, which we'll, hey, guess what? Uh, we'll get to when we're, when we're playing, uh, when we're playing that game. Uh, but uh, that was, that, like, you know, that's the big one I remember of being like, y'all are, y'all are ridiculous here. Yen patch and subsequent DLC helped help though. See, I don't think I ever played that. Oh, oh, we're here. We're here. We're here. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now for a very you hard fight. The privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation to shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours. Raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. You did miss Bubbles, girl? Have you faced what is... the Commando unit before? Few humans have. What is Bubbles, girl? What am I what am I not remembering? You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask for your fear. Maybe I did maybe I did miss something in the uh Um When I touched them, I... Oh! I did miss something in the... In the scientist thing. I didn't go to... Oh, I did miss something. Boom! I did miss something. Yeah, I was trying to, I was, I was, you mentioned that and I was like, no, we're not there yet. But she, she shows up later. She shows up, or she shows up then. I just didn't go there. Oh, I'm annoyed I missed that character because I forgot the, the order of things. they spent modeling her her chest you know like a little bit probably yeah 
Like you think about it. <laughs> Too long? We overcovered her butt. <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't show up her butt, so we really gotta That worked out great. Good job. Good job, this squad. Is over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. We overcovered her butt. What do we do? I have an idea. I expected better from Asari commandos. That went great. I've I've I remember struggling with that fight. I will not a lot. Him. You will you you must listen Saren still whispers in my mind I can fight his compulsions briefly but the indoctrination is strong why are you able to break free of his control now I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him it will not last long how can he compel Dustin, you? Dustin, how are you doing? People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. I do love her mask. He it looks great. Like, like her whole, her whole, like, headdress. It's great. Extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on It makes her look like a bug. Yeah, I see it. It has a very powerful mass effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's true. Were able to break free now? I sealed away a part of my brain. I don't believe it. The more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. That would be the renegade option, right? Is if this was in the ME2 engine, when she says that, you just right trigger. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. I'm awakened and decisive on what to do today. Mood. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Footsie. Footsie, thank you for the lurk. Have a good day, buddy. Something that big go missing. 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. I put all my secrets on this USB disc. Definitely just plug it into your ship. Enough. No worries. We need to know where to go from there. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should... You should... Oh, you should... Die. You should die. Oh, wait, isn't warp? Yeah. I didn't have really are right here. It'd be bad to see your mom looking like a skank with the teeny's out. <laughs> Is there a reason we didn't bring Liara? Uh, cause that's not one of the, that's not the, the one y'all picked. A boop. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. First to turn on the council, now on Saren. You're not loyal to anything, are you? Damba. I suppose that is how history will know me. No light. They always said there would be a...
it's such a silly like is there crackle audio or is it just me uh oh oh Oh, hey, you're, you're, <laughs> oh, hey, your daughter's fine. Jalen, Jalen, hello. Is there, is there crackle audio? Are people getting crackles? Maybe my audio is good. Oh, I think. Oh, I think I hear it. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your music. What do I? Colorless. Oh. I think I fixed it. There's a little crackle now, but I also hear that in my headphones. That's like the Rackney. Yeah, I think I think I think I just fixed it. I think I fixed it. I think there was a little bit of uh, feedback from my headphones because the the cord gets weird sometimes. So I I think I fixed it, but it was real bad earlier when I shouted it out. Okay, but thank you for letting me know, Brian. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, once I once I got it up on my phone, I could hear it. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. I didn't come here to talk to bugs. You are not in harmony. As somebody who's talked to me on Discord, I 100% understand court issues. I guess my volume isn't up high enough. Yeah, I, I heard it once I cranked the volume up a little bit. Are we? To fade away once more. All right, so this is one of the other big decisions. There are acid tanks I really respect all of y'all for picking uh, Spare the Rachni. My ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. I respect y'all. That's She's the last of this is the real. Shepherd. This is the we real good shit. The objectivity to judge her. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or we turn our people to the silence of memory. Okay, so normally, again, this would normally be the renegade answer, but we're not gonna do that. We will. You could have calmed them if I hadn't set off the purge? No, our minds are not as yours. We can only learn to sing in harmony. Without a mother, children are lost. Oh, also, I, I think uh, Jesse mentioned this. The Asari commando look, looks like uh Geralt's uh Witcher 1 or like Witcher 2 outfit. It's so it's so weird. Are you a survivor from like, it, war? It, a clone. It is cool, but it Do is weirdly at odds with all of the rest of the fashion. Hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. Not my call, but accurate. The last echo of those who came out from the city. Oh no, you said the um the Alliance military, not the not the Asari. That's right, that's right. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Yeah, so we're going to spare the Rachni. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Which... Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards. So maybe you don't get it. 
Yeah, yeah, hey, listen. Fair. Yeah, honestly, fair. Fair, fair reason to be mad. I'd like to have the Rachni on our side in the future. Do what you, you know. want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. Rachni, you don't know what the fuck was happening. We I just got birthed. I want to go to the distance and like. I wish Geralt had a big titty window. That's <laughs> very funny. Great renegade, but not like genocide renegade. Songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. Yeah, listen, renegade, but not like a shithead. You still get a big glare. You still get a like. Don't. Don't fucking. <laughs> As I shoot her off into space. Don't fucking. Mmm. Mmm. And you get 24 Paragon points for that. Jeez. Turns to Shepard and they see Rex. You wild, you. <laughs> Rex then gives you a big thumbs up before she flies out to space. See you later. Oh, God, that's so funny. Okay. Um, it's this one, I think. No, decrypt. Oh, it's hacking, right. Hacking just decreases all of her cooldowns, which is great. Uh, no. I want her to have more shields. Oh, sorry, Rex, I didn't realize you had a thing. Um, fitness increases his health. Barrier increases barrier. He's almost got stasis. Him having him having another stasis would be really good. All right. We did it. This that's this planet done. Shepard of the Hanar in the town square getting harassed. <laughs> Just everyone in this, everyone in this game. Uh, uh. Yeah, I did. I did miss Bubbles, girl. Dag. I thought there was another part to to this. I guess, I guess when you go to the hot labs, it advances. Oh, whoop. Oh, just made it. Um, I guess it's when you go to the hot labs. She sticks in my mind. There was a funny glitch video of her back when this comes out. Oh, man. I wonder how Ashley would have felt about you not doing a genocide. I bet you there's a, uh, there's a super cut of like Mass Effect, like character reactions. You know what I mean? Whatever she felt, I'm sure it would have been racist. It probably wouldn't have been like cool. All right. Um, I think we can go back down there. No, it's all red. Well, all right. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to talk to everybody. Dag. I don't think I talked to everybody after Pharaohs. Or after uh, after rescuing Liara. So I, we might have missed some dialogue. God, God dang. We saved Liara and she went to rest and I was like, and I was like, all right, on to the next one. I totally forgot. Oh, man. Headed, he got ahead to the sweaty boy corner. Sorry. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. 
Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Shut up! She just said the name the thing I said. I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here, understood? Wow, that's Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. That's not the person you should have gotten mad at, okay? Calm down. Just... See, sometimes the mean option is just like yell at an alien. We're done here. Crew dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Too bad. I do. Whoops. And we're out. Ah. <laughs> 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 Again, it's way funnier to call them and then hang up on them. Way funnier. Oh, man. Oh, the council just screaming in the Citadel. I'm not owned. You're owned. Time and time again, no idea why people, why more people don't like running Renegade in these games. I mean, I don't like the like, like we talked about, like the parts where they're, where it's very xenophobic and weird, but that part's funny as shit. Yeah, like the. Commander, do you have a minute? Again, <laughs> I don't. What's on your mind, Lieutenant? What's up, Caden? Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. What's up, buddy? This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay, who knows where, but we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. They really moved past it in one, they went, really went with it in a bad way. Isn't reading it. We've got our orders. Belly aching won't What Jalen Matt said, plus can't be mean to my space buds. Yeah. It just seems like a group that's been around I think the council. Should I agree with coming. Brian to the extent that, like, funny. We finally get out here. It should be it should be less of a of a of extremes or the dangers. Do you know what I mean? It should be less of an extreme from one side to the other. There should be a uh, uh, you know a uh, it shouldn't just be good option, neutral option, mean option. There should be something where you're just like I I don't have time to deal with you. You know, I don't I don't have time to deal with this bullshit that doesn't make you that that doesn't read as you Fucking Turian, get out of my face! You know, like <laughs> I'd probably pick that option even if I was going Paragon. I never played one, I didn't realize how spy. Yeah, sometimes it just it just swings hard, you know? Sometimes it just swings hard and you're like, that's not that's not what I was going for. I'm gonna call Caden well, cute. Oh well, you're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? Yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was That feels like I'm being condescending. Space. That read condescending to me. A woman he loves or, you know, for justice. They probably should just be labeled better TBH. I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. <laughs> all in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all dead is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Damn corporations. all about that. How companies would arrange accidents to expose people to element zero. There was never any proof of that. It's not what happened in my case, anyway. My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. Bunch of guys in suit show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest, <laughs> farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the 
outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Tap. This is the second opportunity for Caden Flirt. I almost typed car. <laughs> Jesse just, Jesse's just solidified in my mind that I got to play KOTOR. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Rana. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. <laughs> I, ma'am. <laughs> Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Right, we're still in the military, ma'am. felt the same, but things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? To be fair, Thane's story is much closer to Car. That's true. Yeah. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. That's true. Because the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The Grand Gateway to Humanity looks a lot better in the bits. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. <laughs> You're right, shut up. <laughs> I wanted to get to know you a little better, that's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? <laughs> no. Just you. I didn't say I did this for the whole crew. We should talk again. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. Now, when you say you need time to process that, is that time now because we've beaten another story mission? It was super effective. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Kane is confused like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? You flirt him with a small bit and Kane immediately discombobulates. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Oh. We'll later, Kane. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. I, I missed a, I missed the, the chat opportunity. I messed up. I messed up. I got, I got too, too excited. There are voice lines for filling with Caden as a guy in the data. I'm seeing him with the one line. It's probably in the legit female right where Caden makes a remark about serving under Shepard. Shepard responds with not having that honor yet. Uh Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? I should go. Okay, back, Commander. No, you don't have Chakwas, you get so much cooler in too. Oh, this is where Liara is. God, I forgot. I had to look up a clip I sent out. The top comment on it was don't look up Ashley's cat's name. Oh my god. <laughs> If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Uh, uh, hey, Liara, I killed your mom. I'm really sorry. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. I'm sorry. She it was wasn't like. She was, but she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. Also, I'm sorry for not talking to you earlier. I totally. I blame Saren. And if I were you, I'd want revenge. Yeah, revenge. To stop Saren, I do not need to add revenge to the list. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Yeah, we haven't done this. 
I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. You missed some I'll awkward Liara flirt then, I think? Yeah. Digs, unearthing mundane items uh, from long forgotten Prothean ruins. <laughs> Sounds boring. Hey, you're right. That doesn't sound very interesting. <laughs> On occasion, I have run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumbled across small bands of privateers. That probably does not seem very exciting to someone like you. I guess seeking out history's lost secrets holds a special appeal for me. I would give a century of my life to discover a beacon like the one you found on Eden Prime. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Don't try to study me! I'm not some artifact you can take back to your lab, Doctor. I... I am sorry, Commander. I did not mean it like that. I... I just... I am used to dealing with computers and data disks. I am not very good with people. I let my professional curiosity get the better of me. Please forgive me. <laughs> let us talk about something else. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peace. We are as a pro the infet is confirmed. Disputes. My people believe we are all. That's why she's not around in two. She'd be too hot. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female. They are chopping at the bit every time you go on a mission. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. It's the actually ass answer right here. I'm not. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Uh, Bioware, Mass Effect 1 are the true cowards. Uh, Bioware, uh, my species is monogendered. Also Bioware, entire species uses female pronouns. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? Other races may not be she as sanctimonious and weird about mating. It's still a wild first convo with the Yara. Father, if you want to use that term, was another. Hey Shepard, thanks for having me on the on this mission. Let me tell you about the mating rituals of my whole species. Venezia never told you her partner's name. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe Gems in Steven Universe also use female pronouns despite Asari being literally grown in the ground. Racial traits from the father species. Yes, it's if also strange. Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Why agree to the union if she didn't want any children? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapien species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. 
And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The Union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Now... How long ago had the Asaris found the Citadel at this point in Mass Effect history? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? I think I asked this question already. Really oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Benezia. You, uh, I, it is possible Benezia's partner was in bed. Many Asari raised their... Goodbye, Shepard. Because, like, if they live to be a thousand years... And... Like, I feel like... It's one of those times I'm annoyed I can't remember a, a number someone said. Is it in the codex? Um... The Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. Oh uh, yeah, this is an all-female race, so. Who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council? So you do have two so you... <laughs> throughout the galaxy. <laughs> even then, the Asari have served as even a even a fucking species that doesn't have two genders still subscribes to the gender binary. Fucking hell! Early two thousands were a really different place. Um, let me talk to this guy, see if he got anything cool. Let's see what you bet, Commander. I don't know, a thousand years is such a... A thousand years is, like, such such a number. Because, like, think about it. If the Asari lived to be a thousand years old, and they discovered the Citadel, let's say, three thousand years ago, that's only, like, three generations. Like, that's that's nothing for them. You know what I mean? That's nothing. Looking for supplies? You got to get you got to get better stuff, bud. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Think the fact you play a FMMC that isn't wearing the least amount of clothing possible is an improvement on the standard games with feminine? Yeah, oh my God. It's so weird to think of how groundbreaking this game was at the time that it came out. And then to look at it now in 2023 and go, wow, there's so many things that are wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, like how quickly, not to say that games as, as games overall have improved, just more that like our expectations have shifted. Just the fact that you can play a, a, a female main character in this game, where that's becoming much more common in games now. Um, it ju just, <laughs> it's so wild. What happened? It's so- Why were you investigating it? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation- Fire spoiled me for other RPG experiences. Yeah, I feel bad for everybody that got back, that got into RPGs with this game and then was like, let's explore RPGs and was severely disappointed. Because, ugh. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got... Kotor is really great about it, too. Yeah. God, Kotor is good. Kotor is a good game. Very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping oh. to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. 
You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. I was looking at lifespan differentials in sci-fi franchises. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. This is where we find out that Krogans have four testicles. Somebody's making a killing out there. I played Baldur's Gate as a kid, so I was already used to the idea of custom hero being either choice. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. Star Trek mentions out five, six hundred for Trill. Oh, yeah, and Triller, like, for reference, like, incredibly long lived. Sorry, Mass Effect's heavy hitters. Something about playing a female night elf protection warrior wearing a metal bikini. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Old, old MMO armor. Someone else mentioned it's bananas. Apparently, HUDs can live up to a century. Let's only live a century. I feel like it's, I feel like it is such a, um, such a thing in in sci-fi to like to be like, yeah, humans live such a short time compared to other, other alien species. Good thinking. Lackeys are always easier to scare. Some kind of sentient plant that has four thousand years. Exactly. Sure. Though in this case, it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam. To oh, right, this. On. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Right, I remember this. Test tubes. I can't address my uh, Dark Knight and Wrath from anything before, like, Cataclysm. That's a bummer. Some, some of those armor sets are really solid. Some of those armor sets are really solid. Uh, but yes, also some of them are absolutely bananas. <laughs> I play a buddy man that's thousands of years old in 14. Hell yeah. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. Pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Ugh. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. <laughs> I hope he got what he deserved. Yeah, I sniped him at 40 meters. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Kurgan the heavy hitters can go multiple centuries if not kid in battle. Which rough odds. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. All of these are reasonable I things. Those hostages were dead anyway. I just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. Turn in your All badge and your gun. That ship. Stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price. I can't to wait to have Something Lady like Poppy Shepard show up yeah, for Garrus and exactly. ME2. Those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Random question what system would you use for a Mass Effect TTRPG campaign? Um what system would I use for a Mass Effect TTRPG campaign? If I'm looking to emulate like if if my goal is i want something that is is close to playing mass effect as possible i would probably get uh i would probably use starfinder or um i know there's other like space it, it would be sci-fi focused space focused um and it would be combat focused right because combat is a big part of mass effect having loot uh from you know from from different companies you know having your um your kind of like soldier gun based powers your tech powers your biotic powers like 
half of the game is copper. Um, but if I use Starfighter, I, I say Starfighter just because I'm the one, that's what I'm most familiar with. My first thought was actually Genesis, personally because of Cortex, because of who I am. That's yes, you would pick you would pick Cortex because it's who you are. Um, Fist maybe might be misremembering Fist Five. I don't I don't know that game off the top of my head. Um, but I would want something that also. I don't know if I would want like a romance system, but I would want something that encouraged uh, like role play scenes between characters, uh, like scenes like this, something that something that encouraged this moment of Garrus sharing the story of a time before he was doing this, you know? Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time. Good social mechanics would be important. Yeah. I thought I'd found him a while back. Changed ships and changed his name to Doctor Hart. His idea of a how many blades in the dark? I That's true. Military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Yeah, you could probably do um, a um, you could probably do a like Forge in the Dark or PBTA system with playbooks. Um. I just think for me, like Mass Effect is a crunchy game and you give it a crunchy system, you know? I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that, but Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I'm gonna be there when you find him. Okay. I'm not gonna take you because we're gonna follow that rule, but we'll we'll go check it out. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? Oh yeah, Jesse, did you ever see uh, Omni Blades in the Dark? years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go, but that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You're right. So you know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Knew she'd be mad. Yeah, I did. I. <laughs> You're giving me a lot of feedback that I didn't ask for. Is Omni Blades in the Dark a real thing? Uh, so Omniblades in the Dark is a hack that um, Bioware did for N7 Day like two years ago, three years ago at this point. Um, it's a it's it was a hack of Blades in the Dark that people at Bioware did internally um, that they had Austin Walker and uh, Ali Akapura come on. You cool if I link it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, please do. Um, and uh, it was uh, Mark Mir. Austin ran the game. It was Mark Mir, um, Jennifer Hale, Allie, and someone else. I think one of the artists, like one of one of their like art people or something like that. Um, and they were doing they they did a Mass Effect style. I think they were on. Um, what's the what's the bar from ME2? Cat Barkwell and Baldwin Lee. Oh, so they had two more people. Okay, so they had five people total. I thought they had four. Um, I think they were on the bar from ME2, which is a great uh, setting for that. Um, there were talks around then, if I remember correctly, of it being put out in even an unofficial sense. I don't know if anything ever, anything ever came of that. Do you have a few minutes? Afterlife. Yeah, that's it. I think that was it. Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. I think that's it. I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. <laughs> that's unprofessional. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? No, ma'am. And anyway, Scuttlebutt says he's already sweet on someone. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Keep you and your Raven's family away from him. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Cat's currently a programmer at Bioware. Bolin's a gameplay designer. Oh, wow, I was super wrong. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting you could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he 
never made it above the power of Google and find their Twitter accounts. Hell yeah. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military. I do wonder how her family knows Caden had an awkward flirt 30 minutes ago. on a six month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. Ah, oh, bummer. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Thanks for providing something to watch yeah, while I'm waiting for my daughter's land earlier. Mark me a teacher RPG is always a good time. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, dad used to say he felt more. Four children? God. On Steam's more like this lift for Mass Effect. First through your obvious sponsored garbage. Star Wars Old Republic Fallout 4 Elden Ring. Uh, 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 Old Republic, obvious. Fallout 4, sure. Eld Elden Ring? I don't I don't think I can turn my head enough to give that as much side eye as I feel like it deserves, but Um Trout, if you like uh if you like Mark Mayer doing TTRPGs on Chaosium's YouTube channel, he's uh he's running a game right now called Bookshops of Arkham, which is Call of Cthulhu, um, that I I keep getting recommended that I really want to watch. Um uh, I know the guy who did the logo for that, so I'm really excited to to check that out. Where did you grow up? <laughs> All over. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where a person. Yeah, Jeff did the logo. Right? It's really good. Like. Sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. You're lucky to have a close family. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your family situation. Or lack thereof. Relax, Williams. I've dealt with it. Ask me to clear a bunker of armed hostiles? No problem. Dealing with a foot in my mouth? Not so good with that. Things were. Yeah, go go check before, out uh, go check out Jeff's stuff. Bonded. I really need to sit down and um, check out his games. I keep forgetting. And we bonded. What does that mean? Sounds like a story. You like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Men. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen LY away. Close a to dozen to LY. Too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. <laughs> no, boys, no control. You ask me, boys need a cold shower that lasts from age 12 to 25. They have their uses, ma'am. Lady Not Poppy. All of them keep their brains in their pants. Fucking on it. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, cause he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. <laughs> uh, what did the cops do? Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things. Do she decided things. to learn the sword. <laughs> While all of you were exploring space, I learned the sword. <laughs> Sounds like her sister was a weeb. So what did you learn? One of dad's friends taught me marine hand to hand. I, why did why did we get Ashley? Why did we get Ashley instead of her weird sword wielding like lowly skirt sister? Like that would be. Oh. I want to hang out with her instead of Ash. Yeah. Can we get can we get your sister in here? You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. Can you imagine the alien weebs? I'm talking about me. Oh my like god. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. 
My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends. She's gonna have a lot of scrolls. He did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. She cracked him in the face. Good. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me... He fell! Him. He just fell! The paramedics, he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women... And then she cracked him in the face a bunch. Ever. We do things when we're ready. Not before. Book Shack of looks awesome. Looks like the same set Deborah Ann will use for relics and rarities. Uh, I saw that it's on a set. I haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of it yet, they sadly. Right about one thing. That wasn't interesting. Damn! How was your father during all this? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. That's all times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that <laughs> maybe you can't <laughs> for always roaming with a hungry heart. Much have I seen and known. I'm built different, Koreans. <laughs> climates, councils, governments. Bored now, God. Oh, I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Being, listen, being mean to Ashley is funny, but we're gonna, listen, we just gotta wait for it. We just gotta, we'll get there. Like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. Where is the love poetry? Ashley is a vampire confirmed. Watch that Kings of the Castle game was a delight. I'm I'm so waiting for that to, to pop up on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to pick this option because of every time we've said some xenophobic shit, uh, Ashley can get one. He's not a zombie, is he? You know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The shift on Earth that must have happened. Like, the day that it was like, yeah, there's aliens. Like, legit. Like, there's a like, look at them. Like, look, you can look right there. You can just see them. You can just see them. Like, can you believe, can you imagine? Um. Can we just get, damn. Human romantic space is a fave in mine, but I just tested on Ash. The Pope has already admitted there may be aliens out there. I think it's silly to think that there isn't. I think it's silly to just think that 100% there isn't, you know? Uh, yeah, just fucking keep it to yourself. You start preaching in the CIC, we'll have a problem. You do what you want to do. I'm not some you... kind of zealot. I believe in God. What everyone else believes is their business. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. There's probably aliens, but it's probably impossible to contact them. Yeah. Ma'am. Codex. Ashley's weird. <laughs> Jeff, yeah, you're right. Not a zombie internally incredibly scared of zombies. <laughs> He's not a zombie or anything, is he? Is he? No. <sighs> okay, good. I was... <sighs> Shepard. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people. I'm a fire. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you decided to go your own way? 
I decided killing the credits was better than I'm in the, the I want to believe camp for most metaphysical paranormal but terribly skeptic 100% bored on sure. aliens though Bottom line <laughs> killing for credits simplifies Jesse have you ever watched um did you ever watch uh uh BuzzFeed's uh, uh like Ghost Hunters did you ever watch that Shepard has a no fear shirt. Ash talks about her dad, claims he's not a zombie. Shepard puts on the one fear shirt. <laughs> one fear. Do you ever, uh, there's, there's a line that one of the guys unsolved. Yes, I love them. Uh, have you seen their new stuff? <laughs> hey demons, it's me, ya boy. <laughs> um, I think, I think Shane at one point says something like, I don't believe in ghosts, but I'm also not here to start trouble. Which is what, which is like my 100% belief on ghosts. Do I believe ghosts are real? Uh, no, ghosts are not real. Am I gonna go fuck around with weird ghost shit? Also, no. <laughs> also, no. Like, am I gonna fuck around and find out? Nope. Yeah, I'm not gonna be the person, I'm not gonna be the person that decides that. This, I'm not gonna be the person that discovers ghosts, right? I'm not gonna be the new person. I'm not gonna be that person that's like, I got an EMF reader and I'm gonna, okay, if the ghosts are here, come out. Ah, nah, mm -mm, no, not gonna be me. Not gonna be me. I fuck around with your ghost shit sometimes, went through an old asylum with an EMF reader. Oh, no, couldn't be me, couldn't be me. The new show on Watcher is pretty good. Yeah, the the stuff on Watcher is super good. I'm gonna I'm gonna send Jesse a link of that after. I'm glad they went fully with paranormal. Their true crime is too dry and simple. They're doing a new like mystery show, uh, which I hope is not just some true crime shit. I married a witch, so I'm good. <laughs> Uh, when you and Aaron come to Little Ohio, we go to the Reformatory's ghost hunting nights, and then we come back in the day with their partner for their history of the place. That does sound good. Someone's telling me how they had a friend who hung around in graveyards, and I was instantly like, hell no, not fooling around with spirits? Mm-mm. No. There's a there's a, a graveyard that we walk past when we go to the when we go to a park for Pokemon Go. And I'm like, and I listen, I walk through it to spin the stop, no worries. I also make sure I don't step right on the goddamn grave. It's like Mm -mm. No. Exactly. That's why. I no. You. And that's why I've been to the third I most haunted city in the U.S. I've yet to see a ghost, despite having spent months of my yeah. life. <laughs> but there's a lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time, I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. I'll you see y'all on day two. No one's taking me ghost job. hunting. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. Oh my god. It's good work. If it doesn't kill And Brian went to college in the in the sometimes cited number one most haunted. I do think, yeah. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Definitely not why I wanted to go that hundred percent. No. See on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting. Private armies and such. But it gets too messy. I fight best on my own or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I blow you. My well sister wanted to go to school in the college in said haunted, haunted city because it is said to be haunted. Shouts to ABC Family, scariest place on Earth episode on Ohio University. Oh my god. So long, Rex. I think I watched that show. That sounds familiar. Adam, oh, get that XP. No. Okay. Got to get every codex entry. You got to get every XP. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> like I need this. I've eaten at haunted restaurants. So sworn to shit, host by my birthday buddy Linda Blair. Yeah, I do think I remember this. As soon as Discord loads, for some reason it can't, I'll send you info on it. Don't want to give too much public info in a public place. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. To be fair, it's specifically the ladies' restroom that's on in. That's funny. Are you okay? I don't know. Your 
ship is amazing. Went to college that place, I definitely ran into what I'd qualify as ghost activity. Chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth. The building I lived and worked in in RA was a, was spooky. The engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's too quiet to sleep. Love it. The silence wakes you up. Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sounds like the pilgrimage uh, isn't just yeah, the, resources for the food. We love watching me it's about teaching ghost hunting shit. It's You're such a good time. Right. Ghost Adventures is just quality programming. We never leave home. The pilgrimage has given me a whole new perspective on our culture. I almost went to Point Pleasant one time. The little whole little hotel there is almost definitely haunted. I clapped the moth cheeks. Hell yeah! Shouts to West Virginia. But maybe they just wanted a different life. Shout outs! Shout outs to West Virginia and the Mothman flag. My mom turned me on to the Ghost Bros on Discovery. I think you would enjoy Ghost Adventures if you haven't seen it, Jesse. I think you would love Zach Bagan running around shouting about, uh, shouting about, like, <laughs> we call Ghost Adventures Scooby Douche in my house. That's great. That's, I love that. <laughs> I love that Scooby Douche. That's fucking hilarious. You do plan to return to the uh... I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually, uh, but we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I know someone who met Zach. He's like that, apparently, but more erratic. That's yeah, that, I believe that. I believe that. I'm going to go there to train in 2023, though. Not only do you have to go into West Virginia, I have to go through Ohio. That's fair. That's fair. OK, I should go. I watch Ghost Adventures. He sometimes annoys me too much. Oh. He's he's absolutely ridiculously annoying. Um, so the 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 head cannon that Aaron and I have for Ghost Adventures, based on like two episodes, the head cannon that we have is uh, Zach is making all of this up um, to basically help support his buddy that's on the show. I can't remember the bald guy. Um, that basically he's really into ghosts. And Zach is doing all of this stuff to help support, like to give his buddy a job. And so all of this is <laughs> like, all of this is fake. And Zach plays all of this up to support and scare the shit out of his buddy who's really into ghosts. <laughs> Two kick stories. Uh, the staff were the only people in the building. We had all the doors open for room checks, heard a slam. Got one of the doors slammed shut with a desk pushed, pushed in front of it. Only way in and out of the room was that one door. The only one was the girl in pink shorts that's been seen sprinting through the halls. Coworker saw her dash into a bathroom. Other coworker blocked the other entrance. We all three walked to confront and there was no one in the bathroom. Spooky. Yeah, no, I totally get Zach getting hurt is the best part of Ghost, Ghost Adventures every time. <laughs> oh God. It's just, it's just a very, it's just a very ridiculous show. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Okay. I'm the ghost skeptic, sorry. No, hey, listen, I don't believe in them either. I don't believe in them either, so you're we're we're right there. Alright. Um Hades Gamma Cluster. Let's go do a little side mission. I also refuse to acknowledge possibility that they're real because that would be terrifying. <laughs> Sorry, ghost skeptic. My, di my dad's ghost named me Penny. Oh my God, yeah. Uh, 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 
great story to share. Um, uh, I dated a girl once in high school who uh, would tell me and would tell other people that she came to her mother in a dream before she was born and told her mother her name. That like when her mother was pregnant, um, she she came to her mother in a dream and told her her name. It was like when I listened to podcasts, dude, a bunch of shitty food opinions said eggs were disgusting and said he never ate an egg, but he loves baked goods. Claim there aren't egg and baked goods. You can just say Dan Reichert. You can just say Dan Reichert like it's fine. Newborn baby, who the fuck is Samantha? <laughs> Intruders, kill the hostage. Uh, come on. Come on, my team doesn't do anything unless Oh my god. There we go. Oh yeah, bear let me barrier. And then I will sabotage. And then neural shock. I briefly saw a girl who informed me she had a succubus attached to her as well as a demon. Go, go, go. There's a lot going on with her. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a lot. That's a that's a lot. All right. Um, what gives me like the best boost? It's probably just Spectre training. Baby got light armor, you can't rush out to cover. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna push points into Spectre training for the for the buffs. Just like Joe dude, just like a guy. Just a, he hasn't, yeah, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't decided on a, a specialization yet. Team and intern. <laughs> You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. I think I'll just kill you instead. Take cover! Ah! Ah. Go, go, go. Ah. Go, go, go. All right, well, that's three throws, so they're on cooldown now. Go, go, go. Hello? Shoot. Shoot the, shoot the gun? There we go. Do you like how I didn't, like, shoot my gun? <laughs> All right, I stopped the terrorists. Matt, you didn't save the guy. I stopped the terrorists. Woo! 
<laughs> the power of biotics. Wait, how'd we get here shooting these guys? I got so wrapped in the ghost conversation, I forgot to pay attention to the game. Uh, we landed on their little ship and then we shot through everybody in the cargo hold. And then now we're here. Stealth pacifist run. I think you can talk him down from shooting the guy, but not if you're renegade. Oh, man. I got to make sure to send Jesse a link to the, the Watcher ghost thing. Aaron and I were so excited. I think you can uh, also make that dude calm down and then pull guns on him, but who knows? Maybe. That seems reasonable. Done. Side, side quest complete. Another successful mission. Ghost Adventures on their 24th season. Yeah. Message coming in. It's it's ridiculous. Hostage they keep going. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns' death was regrettable, but I trust you did everything you could to save him. Your assistance yep. above and beyond the formal <laughs> This has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. I trust you did everything you could to save him. Uh huh. Definitely. Well, I sure did. The Watcher show where they get drunk and tell ghost stories is pretty good. Yeah. Aaron doesn't like it as much, so we we don't watch it. But when we uh, the couple episodes we watched was was really good. Because I like just hearing people's silly ghost stories. Do you die during the combat or die because the combat started without talking? Uh, if you don't talk him down, if you don't talk the the like biotic leader down, uh, he just shoots him when combat starts. Let's see. What's another good? Oh, let's go find Dr. Salarian. Dr. Salen. The Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. I did say Dr. Salarian, yeah. Dr. Salarian sounds like a children's like show character. Kepler Verge. Herschel system. Gotta find <laughs> Dr. Zlarian and Captain Turian. This is one place I really wish you could take Garrus. Just to relieve that, relieve, uh, that, relive that hilarious renegade choice. Is there something really funny that happens if I pick, uh, if I pick renegade here? All right, so there's nothing in the asteroid belt. Chablaka. Love, I'd love to live on Chablaka. I certainly think so. Okay, well, hey, okay. We gotta, all right, listen, if it's really funny. If it's really funny. We'll, we'll bring Garrus. I'll just spend all 36 points. Love to live on Chewbacca. Thanks, closed captions. <laughs> oh yeah, assault training. Definitely. 
all the points of it in assault training. Um, you know what? Four points gives him full sniper, uh, full assault rifles. So we'll do that. You're leveling all your characters like they're me? What is what does that mean? Uh Shepherd. Oh, Stiletto 6. Stiletto 6. Mmm. Acting like sniper rifles are poisonous to the touch. Ah, uh, here, Garrus. You get. You could have the cool. You could have a cool sniper rifle just to have one. Shield bypass. There you go. All right. Garrus has terrible armor. And uh, some weapons, so let's see how this goes. Actually, it doesn't matter on them. Give them fire rounds. Uh, I looked it up, and I couldn't see anything that said that accuracy does not matter, so. Get down from there. What do you think you're doing up there? No, not that. Uh, overload does damage. All right, this seems rude. I'm glad he just has like weird zombie people running around on his ship. That seems like a that seems like a safe idea. Okay. Stitch more balls on the gears. It looks like <laughs> it works like ablative armor. For saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. Jesus, oh, Garrus. He's crazy. Please don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. <laughs> Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No, please, please. Heads up. Oh, I thought he was just gonna get him in a cutscene. Oh, get him. That was satisfying. Sorry, I was wrong. It's another choice than a renegade. Oh, hang on. Good. Hang on. I remember that feeling. That's how it should. I, well, I guess we're done. Hang on. Listen, that took five seconds. We'll listen. We'll do it again. Oh, Jesus. It feels like we're playing RE4. God. 
time to die. Okay, I thought about that one because I really, it's, it's very funny. I thought about that one because that's very funny. Um, here, let's go up here first. Because I think if you go up here, you can confirm who he is. No, there's nothing up here. Uh. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Okay, hang on. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. Oh, that's Dr. Salion. Hello. My, my name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first. Even through the pilot's chamber, there's a box in the corner. You're Was crazy. there? He's crazy. Please, don't let him do this to me. This is my kill, Garrus. You're all crazy! <laughs> You're all crazy! What was that, Shepard? Wow, I... I shot him once. My kill, Garrus. Never hesitate when you've got the enemy in your sights, Garrus. Point taken. Well, I guess we're done here. <laughs> that's so, that's so silly. Never hesitate. And then let me just steal a bunch of stuff from his ship. Oh my god, wait a minute. Can we be? Oh no. Oh, I can't wear it. He's a doctor in street clothes. You have a rank six shield piercing poison death machine. Ooh. Listen, when you say it, when you put it that way, Brian. When you put it that way, it almost seems unfair. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here. Bummer. Okay. Good side quest work. I think it's really funny that I brought Garrus and then was like, this is my kill. It's what a, such a, what a weird thing to say. All right. Ugh. What other weird side quests? Head to the Newton system in Kepler Verge. I thought it was there? Stepping through this game, it's pretty brisk when you know what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Kepler Verge. It's, it's funny that both of these, uh, Message coming in. Passing it through. Hello? I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. This guy with his sleepy so voice. killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. We found a connection between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago on a coos. Oh. A coos. I lost my whole unit there. You're saying that our scientists were involved? I can't get any information on what they were working Jacuz. on. The project records were sealed. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. All right. Let's 
get all this. Shepard, oh fuck yeah, I can finish them off myself. Never, never hesitate. There's a devil player named Jack Hughes. Every time I hear a commentator say his name, I shout it in my head. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I definitely need to look into what's going on with my with my Wi-Fi. I just got a notification that Aaron and I have 10% uh, data left and we're both here in the house. No one's using uh, cellular data so like what is going on figure out what the heck is going on Once again, the makeup is great. Love it. Setting on the phone that switches to mobile data and Wi-Fi network is weak, maybe? Uh, I should, you know, I should look at that. I mean, here's the thing. I'm sitting right in front of the router, but I also think that, um, they are, um, I think that, like, the Wi-Fi signal is kind of weak. So that, um... Um... So that, like, if it's, if it's, uh, locked, I think it, like, disconnects. But yeah, I need to look into that. Ah, whoa, oh. Whoops. figure out why discord's uh web app ain't working they might just be having a weird outage i don't know i feel like sometimes discord is just weird for me okay i'm gonna try to get out of here without killing more of this native species Whoop. Nope. Great. Good. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I need I need to look into it because I feel like we're probably like losing a lot of data because of this. I definitely need to move my router a little bit. Um, and maybe just set up my old router. That was really good. Um, and see if I actually need to, like, rent a router. Come on. Keep going. There you go. There you go. Shepard's driving, everybody check that you're sick. No, it's just, it's just the Mako. It's just the Mako. It's just how it is.
Hey, hey, what? Boom! What are you gonna do about it? Oh, hang on. I see a, I see a thing. Hang on. It's as smooth as butter on the inside. Oh yeah, they're just, they're just, they're just fucking vibing, listening to uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Like they're, they're having a good time. Breaking you nerds would probably like this news. Oh, I didn't, you know. Great day surveying. Boo, hello. Boo, how are you? New Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi announced. Oh. And he likes FGC. I'm good. That's good to hear. Oh my god. <laughs> Get run over, idiot. Get him. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Matt, I don't like how you worded that. Me says what it is. Matt, hello. <laughs> when was the last. When was the last one of those? Because it's been a bit. Oh, there's just like dead guys. That seems bad. Penny likes FGC. Is, uh, is, is Beerus going to be in it? I wonder why they're making another uh, Budokai game and not a um, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters. They're still supporting fighters. The Budokai games are, are still ridiculously popular. The last one says Dragon Ball Z for Connect. Get wrecked, bud. Oh, maybe new... No, maybe new armor? No, I just bought really good armor. Uh, what about Rex? We've got... Yeah! Oh, look at him in the red. Look at you in the red. Oh, see, that's what I need. I need kinetic buffer five. That's that's. So I understand the multiple strategies of these mercenaries. It's go, go, <laughs> go, go, go. You nailed it. You got it. 
Think we got him, Commander. It's go, go, go. In in that order. Got it. Ooh, striker six. Is that not what I have? Oh, I have stiletto. What about Tali? Tali, what do you got? You got a stinger five? Yeah, there you go. Honestly, the 2.7 HP regen ain't much. If you've got 275 HP. Very true, very true. Tungsten rounds four, so she has damage versus synthetics. Yeah, tungsten rounds five. There you go. I do appreciate in classic RPG fashion how much of these missions are taking shit from the people that you just killed. You know? Yeah, Tsunami 6. Yeah. Excuse me? Hey, uh, what's up, buddy? What's happening? What occurred? What horrible crime? Kenny Omega came out cosplaying like a dragon Ishin? Yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't... Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Toombs? Corporal Toombs? But... But I saw you die on the coups. I... How did you get here? They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. Oh. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What did they do to you, Tombs? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Shepard was at a coos. That's all the proof she needs. <laughs> this man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? <laughs> Corporal, if you kill him, you're a criminal. But I'm a specter. Nobody will question me. You can't kill me. You don't know who you're dealing with. Damn it, Shepard. This is my kill. You got out with a few scratches and a scary reputation. I'm the one they tortured. And I'm the one they can't prosecute, Tombs. You don't get to throw your life away. I'm so the easily. one they can't prosecute. Blap. It's. It's really over. Citadel, some sort of alien utopia. Military budget at 40 kajillion Maybe galactic credits. Shepard's got a side hustle. I don't know. All you can do is keep going. Joker, tell the Fiddy acting so sad right now, I'm not lighting her out every five minutes. Oh, what? There might have been stuff in there. How do you know there wasn't stuff in there? There could have been stuff in there. My, my kill tombs. <laughs> Was it decryption? No, hacking? Hacking. No stuff, only sad feels. Listen, you don't know that. Am I going to go in there and check? No. There probably isn't. Mm, but what if there is? Me. There probably isn't stuff in there because Bioware teleports you out of the room immediately. Would Bioware put really good stuff in that room to reward loot gremlins like me who went back in there specifically to check? There's only one way to know for sure.
Tombs makes you think of Mr. Tombs or Max Miles. <laughs> Council, hey, Shepard, we're getting a lot of reports of you out there shooting people for your friends. And like, yeah, we can't really prosecute you for doing what you're doing, but as a specter, Shepard hangs up. <laughs> this sounds a lot like per like prosecuting. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of prosecuted right now. If there's one thing in here. Oh! I guess technically I found a thing. Damn it. <laughs> I found, I, yeah, I guess there was a thing. I got, I, was there a thing? <laughs> what? What? Remember the day Brian did that and Zach was like, hey, Matt, uh, so, you know, you can you, you can put it in Firebot so that like it waits until the sound stops to do the next sound. And I was like, no, I did that on purpose, buddy. <laughs> I. I I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, All right, I'm going to take my I'm going to take my morning break. That was fucking. Oh, uh, that was good. Uh, I'm gonna take my morning break. We yeah, we specifically talked about it. Not yeah, like very specifically. Like I'm gonna let these sounds layer and become a cacophony. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna take my morning break. So I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, we will do probably. I mean, I think we got a couple more. Yeah, we got a couple. I gotta report to hack it. Um. I can't do it forever. I only have 332,000 points. Um, so we'll do a couple more of these side quests. And then I think today I'm going to do uh, Bring Down the Sky, which is the one sort of content DLC uh, for Mass Effect 1. Uh, and I, and I want to do that before we get too far into it. Because um, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. I remember being fond of it overall. Um, but yeah, we'll do that when I get back. And uh, I'll see you all in just a little bit. <laughs> 